And we are joined now by Yuri Gogolzi, and he has actually been named to deliver the Fred Kovli Distinguished Lectureship in Nanoscience. Congratulations. Thank you very much. For that title. Now, I understand your talk is titled Not Just Graphene, The Wonderful World of Carbon. So give us a brief overview of your talk. Well, what I'm going to do is to talk about uh, a large variety of carbon materials. Graphene is really the most popular and uh, studied one nowadays. But before, we had fullerenes and carbon nanotube discovered, which largely launched the nanotechnology era. And there are many, many other exciting carbons, from graphite using lithium-ion battery in our cell phone and computers, to porous carbon networks that we use to purify water in Brita filters, for example. And there are many other nanostructures, which are much less known, like nanodiamonds, onion-like carbon. And all these materials have some exciting properties. So what is important as scientists and engineers, we need to select the right ones for specific application. And this is what we do in my research group, and that's the reason why I'm going to talk about this subject to the audience tonight. That's why you picked that particular topic. Exactly. Okay. Uh, so what does the future hold for carbon and nanomaterials? Well, um, nano is getting really big uh, because uh, nanotechnology is used almost everywhere nowadays. But carbon is the most versatile material that we know. We all are built of carbon-based materials, mm -hmm. all organic life. And among carbon materials, we have the hardest one, diamond. We have soft and lubricious graphite. Carbons can be conducting, better conducting than copper, for example, carbon nanotubes, graphene, ballistic conductivity, or they can be insulators like diamond or semiconductors, like some of the nanotubes or wideband gap semiconductors, the dope diamond. So basically, to keep a long story short, mm -hmm. we can get any properties or combination of properties in carbon. We just need to know how to do it. And we use nanotechnology to build carbon structures with the required properties. And this is the idea of uh, our research, and that's why we believe that carbon will find more and more applications, because we can tune carbon materials for new applications that we need, whether it's uh, producing energy using uh, solar uh, light or storing uh, renewable energy or purifying or uh, water, doing water desalination, building new structural materials. So uh, sky is the limit uh, here. So I believe in building uh, the carbon world. Absolutely. I think we also should highlight the fact that um, being named Kavli Distinguished Lecturer is a huge honor, and we should highlight that. So for those who are starting out or even mid-career, um, tell them how you started out and, and your path. Uh, well, uh, by accident, uh, <laughs> okay. in, in the carbon world here. I started my career working in structural ceramics, and actually this was uh, after the first oil crisis, so I'm old. Um, and uh, at that time we were working on ceramic engines with the goal to increase the temperature of operation of engines and decrease fuel consumption by increasing the efficiency. And now we're working on carbon material uh, again to decrease consumption mm. of oil. But when I was a postdoc in Japan about 20 years ago, we discovered carbon formation upon corrosion of carbides. And I got excited about it, and more I learned about carbon, more I did research in carbon, more excited I was about the topic here. So I've been staying in this area for about 20 years, researching a large variety of different carbon materials, and I hope uh, there is really a bright future for carbon. And I think younger people just need to be passionate and excited about what they do, and they will certainly uh, discover something exciting and do something important. Well, it's a good message. Yuri Gorgatsi, thank you so much. And a reminder, the Kavli lecture um, is going to be recorded. It will be made available on demand uh, in mid-May. Thank you so much. Thank you, Julia.